Ladies and gentlemen, we now invite the assembly to stand as we honor the graduating class of Harrison School for the Arts.
Good afternoon and welcome to the 2019 commencement exercises for the Lois Coles Harrison Center for the Visual and Performing Arts. I would ask that you remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and for the national anthem performed by the Harrison Symphony. I pledge allegiance Please be seated. Parents, guests, and school dignitaries in the dark, because I now can't see you. Welcome once again to the graduation ceremony of the Lois Coles Harrison Center for the Visual and Performing Arts, celebrating the class of 2019. It is indeed an honor to recognize our graduating seniors for meeting the rigorous expectations of our programs, a program, by the way, that serves students from all over Polk County. Let's take a closer look now at the Harrison's class of 2019. 93% are graduating with honors. In their four years, that's right. <laughs> Proving once again that art makes you smart. In their four years at Harrison, they have amassed over 53,000 hours of community service to the various communities and organizations within Polk County including over 23,000 hours this year alone. This type of service is something that we believe is invaluable to not only our communities, but in educating and developing the complete student. The class of 2019 has achieved great things. For the first time in the history of Harrison, we have four Silver Garland winners. We also had an Arts for Life winner, one of 25 chosen statewide to receive a scholarship presented by former First Lady Columba Bush. We had three National Merit Commended Scholars and one National Merit Finalist. These snapshots show how the class of 2019 has made a lasting mark both inside and outside of the classroom. The class of 2019 has received offers from many prestigious colleges and universities. In addition to all of the schools within our own state university system and local private colleges, our graduates have been accepted to such post-secondary institutions as Penn State, UNC Chapel Hill, Center College, Wake Forest University, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, Belmont, the University of Miami, and the Merchant Marine Academy. Many will continue to pursue their artistic craft at arts institutions like the Savannah College of Art and Design, the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, Ringling College of Art, and the Maryland Institute College of Art. For all of these graduates, I am confident in the success that will come in their next stage of life and I'm confident that it will parallel the success of their high school performance. Each year at commencement, our graduates eagerly anticipate the announcement of scholarship dollars awarded to the graduating class. So I wanna give you a little perspective. The class you see before you this evening and will process across the stage later is the largest graduating class in the history of Harrison by one student. 
There's 143 graduates, and we graduated 142 last year. Now, last year's 142 graduates was an exceptional class as well. Last year's class garnered $7.9 million in scholarships. Absolutely amazing. But the class of 2019 has reported scholarships in the amount of $10.4 million. You may have heard somewhere that art makes you smart. It might even make you rich. I want to thank our students, our parents, our teachers, Mrs. Chambers and Ms. Jackson for working together to make these scholarships awards possible. You know, the graduation of our students this evening has been made possible by their parents and a fine group of educators, teachers from both Harrison School for the Arts and Lakeland Senior High. I want to thank all of the teachers for sharing your expertise with our students and preparing them for this hallmark occasion. <laughs> Parents, we are grateful for you and your support for believing in our programs. I have always held that the most sincere trust and faith you can have in a person is allowing us and trusting us to educate your children. Thank you for that. To our platform guests, if you would please rise and stand as your name is called and be recognized. Art Martinez, Principal, Lakeland Senior High School. <laughs> Brother John Hill, Deputy Superintendent, Polk County Public Schools. The Honorable Billy Townsend, School Board Member, District 1. The Honorable Lori Cunningham, School Board Vice Chair, District 2. The Honorable Sarah Beth Reynolds, School Board Member, District 4. The Honorable Lisa Miller, School Board Member, District 7. And Debbie Henderson, West and North Central Area Assistant Superintendent. Leslie Chambers, Student Services Director, Harrison School for the Arts. Felicia Jackson, School Counselor, Harrison School for the Arts. Lynn Adams, Director of Purchasing. Beth Cummings, Director of Fine Arts. Andrew Baldwin, Director of Grants and Acquisitions. Jeffrey Hancock, Senior Director, K-12 Science. Tony Kirk, Director of Employee Relations. And Kevin Levine, Assistant Principal, Harrison School for the Arts. We are at this point in our program where we proceed, we will proceed without further introductions, except for our honored student speakers. Thank you for helping us to maintain a ceremony which reflects the honor and dignity deserving of our students. Once again, please take this opportunity to turn off all cell phones and any electronic devices. We do ask that you honor our graduates by helping us to maintain a dignified ceremony. This is really not so that we don't get to celebrate an individual student, but it's so we get to celebrate all of our students. I told our students earlier that our senior award ceremony this past week was one of the best we ever had, and I was proud of them for that. And I also told them that I'm, I'm sincere and serious, and I want to honor all of our students. So we ask that you refrain from outbursts and noisemakers and all those kinds of things, simply because it's not about the one student. I don't want the student behind that student to have his name or her name not heard because of that kind of outburst. That's really what it's about, and I'd appreciate it if you would respect each of our students by honoring that. I promise you there will be an opportunity at the end, once we've recognized all of our students, that you can celebrate after their tassels are moved at the end of our ceremony. The festivity will begin when Arts Council President Jesse Clark will come up to the stage at the end and he'll ask the senior class to move their tassels. At that point, you can celebrate to your heart's content or until you're ready to go to dinner, whatever comes first. Good afternoon. This year's salutatorian is a member of the Harrison Piano Department. Her instructor is quick to recognize what amazingly well-rounded person our salutatorian is. Ms. Aubrey states, she is the epitome of an outstanding scholar, student, and leader. She embodies the highest standards of character and compassion while accompanied with an incorrigible sense of humor. It has been my sincere privilege to work with a student of such aptitude, work ethic, and loving spirit. She is a National Merit Finalist and an Advanced Placement Scholar with Distinction. In addition, she is a member of the National Honor Society, the Spanish Club, the Kiets, and has lettered for four years as a member of the LHS soccer team. She has titled over 100 hours of community service in her four years as a high school student, many of which were completed while serving as Catholic, at the Catholic Heart Work Camp. 
In the classroom, she's an exceptional student. In each of her high school years, she has earned high honors with distinction for her grades, maintaining above a 4.0 GPA for every semester of her high school career. In four years at Harrison and Lakeland, she has amassed 34 and a half high school credits, which includes 12 advanced placement classes, compiling a cumulative weighted grade point average of 4.551, and attending the University of Florida in the fall Please congratulate the salutatorian for the class of 2019, Ms. Katherine Ockinger. Thank you, Ms. Miller, for the kind introduction. In these past weeks, as the end of high school became imminent, I began to reflect on my time at Harrison, which drew me to consider, what will we remember about high school? Our awards, test scores, grades. I can tell you these things did not come to mind when I reflected on my own experiences. Instead, I remember impressing the piano department with my ability to eat donuts, <laughs> going to the state championship football game, eating ice cream and calculus, being late to every single baseball and lacrosse game because none of my friends can be on time. Routinely baking bread at Carb Club. Dr. Ward dancing to end my feelings at the beginning of the year meeting. <laughs> Accidentally hitting the ceiling with my shoe after demonstrating a leap in the piano lab. And the common thread in these experiences is people and enjoying my time with them. And this brings me to an important point. People are what make our experiences special and make us who we are. Oftentimes we diminish the value of connecting others and spending time with our friends and families simply because we are too busy. But these relationships are important. It is through these relationships that we find support, happiness, and meaning. And I want to stress the importance of continuing to support each other in our relationships and never deteriorating to an uncaring, competitive spirit. We must strive to continue lifting up others celebrating their successes without jealousy, and never sacrificing our character for the sake of promotion. And I know that each of the graduates has it in them. One of the most incredible parts of Harrison is how supportive the environment is. Everyone is willing to share their skills and knowledge and encourage others in the pursuit of their goals, artistically, academically, and athletically. I love being surrounded by so many passionate, talented, and supportive peers and I look forward to seeing the things that we accomplish. So as we move into the future, we must prioritize forming strong connections. And that is not to say that our artistic and academic endeavors are not important. We must continue to work diligently. However, if you lose your connections to others, you miss the point. A doctor without compassion has missed the point. Politicians who don't care about their constituents miss the point. And the point is, the point is that no matter our future career, it will involve people, and we can either lift them up or simply ignore them. I hope that we use our artistic and academic training to help and connect with others. And it is through these connections that I've received so much support in my life, and I would like to thank some of those people. To all the teachers who continually inspire us to love learning and share their passions, thank you for your constant efforts and dedication. Specifically, thank you to my Harrison piano teacher, Ms. Hobry, for always believing in me, celebrating my successes, and comforting me in my losses. Your constant kindness and compassion is inspiring, and I will never forget you. Thank you to our guidance counselors and administrators for helping each of us to achieve our personal goals. <coughs> to all my friends, each of you has been so supportive of me in different ways, and I cannot imagine this experience without you. Thank you for the incredible memories and friendships. And thank you to my family, who has always been there for me, providing constant love and support. My parents never fail to pick me up when I am down, help me through stressful times, and provide an example of hard work, dedication, and kindness. My sister, Sydney, has been a constant inspiration in my life, a best friend, and I'm so thankful that I get to spend a year with her at the University of Florida. And my brother, Nate, is one of the most thoughtful people I have ever met, and never fails to raise my mood with either kind words or a witty joke. They've made me who I am. While I'm sad and scared to leave them, I know that the lessons they have taught me and the character they instilled with me will remain with me always. And when I look at all of you, 
the class of 2019, our families, friends, teachers, administrators, I realize that in big ways and small ways, you are all part of who I am, and for that I am incredibly grateful. Good afternoon. Principal Dr. Daryl Ward, Principal Art Martinez, fellow board members, Deputy Superintendent Hill, distinguished faculty and staff, esteemed parents, honored guests, and our beloved graduates. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce this remarkable young woman to you today. The 2019, the 2019 valedictorian is continuing the fine tradition of exceptional Harrison student artists. As a member of the orchestra department, she has been honored with numerous awards, including nine superior medals for her violin performance. Matt Davis, one of her orchestra teachers, remarked about her character and work ethic. He states, and I quote, she lifts up everyone around her, students and teachers alike, with her contagious kindness and positive nature. She is selfless and giving in action and word, and leads by example, unquote. Our valedictorian is no stranger to helping others. She has amassed over 238 hours of community service in her time as a high school student. In addition to working with VISTI and the Catholic Heart Work Camp, she has also served at Lakeland Regional Health Centers Central Supply Unit. She is a member of the Kiets, the Spanish Club, and the founder and president of the Book Club. She also played on the Lakeland High School soccer and track teams. Academically, she has pursued challenging coursework in amassing 37.5 credits while taking such classes as AP English, AP Calculus, AP Chemistry, AP US History, and AP Environmental Science. In all, she has taken 14 advanced placement courses in her four years of high school, while also completing five classes at the collegiate level through dual enrollment. A National Merit Commended Scholar, she has a weighted grade point average of 4.60 and will attend the University of Florida in the fall. Please join me in congratulating the 2019 valedictorian for Harrison School for the Arts, Ms. Erin Volpe. for introducing me. Standing before you today, I'd like to pose the question, what does it mean to take a risk? For me, a risk is speaking in front of you, my peers, friends, and family in this final high school address. For some of us, it was the decision to come to Harrison. For others, joining a sports team or running for a club position. Ultimately, risks are perceived as things out of our comfort zones and daunting tasks that take significant courage to accomplish. Through dedicated preparation, we challenge ourselves to learn and work diligently towards our goals. 
In preparation for this speech, as an example, I watched a cumulative six hours of TED Talks in hopes of finding the perfect moral. At the end of the day, however, the most authentic message was drawn from introspection. To face our risks head on, we have to be able to accept any outcome. It's like a runner training over the summer for a big race, or a musician practicing for months to prepare for an important audition. No amount of preparation removes the adrenaline of the moment, the heart-wrenching leap into the unknown. For all of you sitting in the seats before me, this unknown might be college, a gap year, military, or employment. No matter what the path may be, it is yours, and you have to embrace the journey and to make the most of your future. Entering the next phase of our lives, we have to welcome the unknown, not with fear, but excitement. Achievement is a process of trial and error, and if we are too scared to try, it will get us nowhere. With confidence in our work and the commitment it takes to stand by any risk, we are able to grow into the amazing and diverse citizens of the world. Fulfillment is found in taking risks and knowing that you gave it everything. Self-doubt and pessimism can lead to the greatest failure of all, in action. As my peers and friends, I have confidence that we can all find the internal importance to live meaningful and fearless lives. For being my first teachers of this important lesson, I'd like to thank my family. My father, who finds passion in everything he does. My mother, who gives commitment a whole new meaning. Natalie, for being the shoulder to cry on and the person who never cuts me any slack. Megan, for reminding me what it means to be curious. And Anthony, for letting me drag him to places so that I'm not alone and letting me just talk for hours. Nona, for teaching me how to dance my way through stressful times and be able to celebrate the good ones. And all of my coaches who taught me that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Ms. Chambers for helping me maintain a balance between challenging work and practicality. Mr. Davis, Mr. Lambert, and all of the music teachers at Harrison for being such an inspiration in your love for what you do. And for my friends, I'm so proud of how far we've come and I can't thank you enough for sharing these past four years with me. All of you have influenced me more than you know and I couldn't be more appreciative of my time at Harrison. Class of 2019, look around you. Those people draped in caps and gowns have the potential to be artists, doctors, authors, engineers, amazing parents, and lifelong friends. There is no wrong answer for the future as long as we are confident and committed in our choices. Thank you.
At this time, I ask that our special senior performers make their way to their positions. I always relish this opportunity each year the chance to offer some final words to the graduating class. And because you've come all this way, I'll allow you to listen. The Harrison class of 2019 is a unique group of students who have truly made their mark on Harrison and their communities at large. To the seniors, I am proud of the young adults you've become. One of my greatest treasures is watching you grow up, take risks, make mistakes, get back up, and then do it all again. I hope the lessons that you've learned, the memories that you've made, the relationships that you've nurtured will serve as a cornerstone for you as you make your way in the world. There is no question that it will get tough at times, that at times you will likely lose your way. But what's important for you all to believe in the pit of your soul is that no matter how lost you may feel at times, you will be found. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? So let that lonely feeling wash away. Maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay. Because when you don't feel strong enough to stand, you can reach, reach out your hand. And oh, someone will come running and I know they'll, they'll take, take you home even when the dark comes crashing through when you need a friend to carry you when you're broken on the ground you will be found so let the sun come streaming in cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again lift your head and look you will be found, you will be found, you will be found, you will be found, you will be
can't see them, but I trust by the clinking that they are making their way back to the seats. <laughs> Mr. Hill, each student assembled here has completed all requirements as prescribed by the Polk County School Board in the state of Florida and is hereby entitled to receive a high school diploma. Thank you, Principal Ward. By the authority vested in me by the state of Florida, I pronounce that you have completed the necessary requirements to be graduates of the Polk County School System and confer upon each of you all rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, as the graduates prepare to receive their diplomas, we once again thank you in advance for helping us maintain the dignity of this important ceremony as we honor each graduate. Erin Marie Volpe. Catherine Grace Ockinger. Isabella Joanna Perez. Ryan Patrick Ritter. Sophie Elizabeth Valenti. Alexa Grace Riley. Coleman Kennedy Brown. Kim Ann Vo. Catherine Noel Sheldon. Elizabeth Grace Joyner. Marcella Erlina Smith. Riley K. Hutchins. 
Emma Grace Salee. Patrick Michael Tanner. Emma Brink Moses. Shannon Lauren Nichols. Isaac Isasi Amaya. Aiden Timothy Leip. Peyton Suzanne Reynolds. Tristan Paolo Emerlino. Hannah Ellen Githens. Elena Ashley Serine. Karina Nicole Setterberg. Parisa Shaheen. Connor Garrison Altagan. Kara Elise Barnett. Tyler Austin Faulkner. Jordan Catherine Giles. Morgan Elizabeth Strickland. Leslie Lewis Clark. Carol Jones. Emma Catherine McPhee. Crystal Andrea Maya. Alexandra Jolie Morris. Nadia Rodriguez. Jenna Taylor Flowers. Camille Ava Hagens. Kate Suzanne Lambert. Joelle Patricia Malin. Hollis Lucille Rosencrantz. Kyra L. Choice. Haley Ray Berkebile. Jarrett Matthew Perkins. Caroline Grace Fabrini. Emma Catherine Hopkins. Megan Kathleen Brown.
Chloe Ann Strickland. Evan Michael West. Elizabeth Dionysia Hospitalis. Sarah Elizabeth Giffins. Chloe Eleanor Rogers. Caroline Victoria Carter. Matthew McCartney Trichler. Angelica Isabel Vargas. Katie Shabon Randall. Just kidding. Stephanie Ann Quintero Andrade. Arcaria Mikkel Davis. Teresa Tran. Ava Catherine Carter. Haley Renee Crawford. Ariana Lucia Manrique. McKenna Sue Davis. Valeria Fernanda Benavides. Sierra Francis Youngblood. Katie Shaban Randall. Hector Jeremiah Montalvo. Andrea Lynn Tobin. Sebastian Alejandro Blanco. Aubrey Dean Holmes. Chance Anthony Scott. Chloe Rose All. Eden Aaliyah Chaddock. Adam James Schumacher. John Robert Diallo. Bradshaw Walker Leinberger. Courtney Marie Atkinson. Kelsey Lynn Gibb. Laura Ann Northup. Gabriella Natasha Mwelwa. Marcella Nascimento Limera. Andy Lynn Maddie Ortiz.
Devin Elizabeth Brown. Abby Elizabeth Hodgson. Antonella Marie Blakesley. Rachel Bianca Ocampos. Grace Elizabeth Ekman. Alondra Michelle Flores Canseco. Leela Rose Marie Duncan. John, Vincent John Tardy. Megan Isabel Hash. Canyon Michael Kelleher. Blanca Isabel Marrero. Aaron Bradley Smith. Jonathan DeLong Lee. Anna Kathleen Reed. Bailey Joan Anderson. Diego Delgado. Jordan Diane Marciano. Earl Dranfort Grant. Sydney Ray Harrison. Jaya Butterfly Shipley Moore. Ashton Faith Plunkett. Alexander Mark Roberts. Carson David Rocket. Genesis Regina Estevez. Jocelyn Sophia Abere. Lucas Brian Manley. Dejana Heather White. Hannah Elizabeth Westfall. John Albert Potez Marijo. Ty Marcel Aridondo. Destiné Nicole Moran. Tiana Tale Zipperer. Jason Garrett Thompson. Jocelyn Amaya Wells.
Arianna Rose Gallucci. Jillian Grace Kiefer. Philip Carpenter Taylor. Thomas Allen Dow. Samantha Marie Peralta. Wesley Mark Capron. Aliatha Kyra Fields. Lydia Brooke Marshall. Valeria Isabel Prieto Castro. Alicia Lynn Hollingsworth. Jenna Marie Pella. Victoria Riley Stranger Thorson. Alex John Shadud. Roxanne Maybeth McFadden. Meredith Ann Mandel. Charles Adam Duncan. Adrian James Vander Hayden. Noah George Goins. Gage Lawrence Jakes. Owen Brian Judino. Diane Anthony Meeks. Gavin Clay Moody. Jasmine Lily Porter Dubia. Chanel Rosado Feliciano. Kelsey Marie Rubel. Naasia Diavion Scott. Othello Howard Smith. Graduates, please rise. Please join me in moving our tassels.
We ask that guests remain at their seats until the last graduate has cleared the auditorium to keep the aisles clear for the recessional of our faculty and graduates. This concludes our commencement for the class of 2019.